With a new drive unit inserted into the starter project, double-click Configure Drive Unit from the project tree. The configuration window opens. Select any desired or existing option modules from the drop-down list. And click the Next button to continue the configuration. You must tell the system whether the M-Feed has a drive-click connection so that it can tell how the ready signal will be received from the M-Feed unit. In this example, there is no drive-click connection. Click Next to continue. If a drive is to be configured in the system, click Yes. And then click Next. Select the drive object type, servo or vector and click Next. Select any desired function modules and expand the drop-down menu for the control type. Select the desired control type and then click Next. In the Power Unit Configuration screen, pick the appropriate filters, select the correct power unit, and click Next to continue. If the M-Feed does not have drive click capability, the wire operation signal warning box will appear. Close the warning box. Open the selection menu for wiring the M-Feed operation signal. And select the drive object the signal will be wired to, in this case the control unit. Select the parameter and bit for the signal wiring and click Next. In the example, a double motor module was chosen. This screen allows selection of the connection you are configuring. Click Next. Select the motor utilized and click Next. Select any braking options and click Next. Select the Utilized Encoder and click Next. Select the appropriate Profi Drive for Telegram configuration and click Next. Activate the web server if desired and click Next. Review the configuration summary and click Finish. The configuration is complete.